<laughs> Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Complete Loot Overhaul um, Community Patch 2.0 Farming here on Borderlands the pre-sequel. Uh, maybe should have got myself a stingray before entering this. Uh, I've completely forgot quitting out and coming back in uh, actually does that. Uh, I wanted to start it here so we didn't have to drive all the way from um, Serenity's Waste to fast travel. Uh, so today we're going to be continuing with the farms of the Complete Loot Overhaul patch. This will probably be the second to last episode. I think I said that in the uh, in the last episode that we've got two more to go um, because now Nell drops the invader um, this was previously in complete loot overhaul one um, actually uh, put into flame knuckle but now flame knuckle drops his nuke on playthrough one again it's been taken out um, by Raven Jim and put into Nell's loophole. I have no idea what I'm doing right here. Uh, just trying to stall a little bit because um, I want to try and see if the uh, the sneaky strategy works still. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's been patched, but uh, basically we're going to farm Nell properly once or twice, um, which means going up there, finding a sign, going up there, finding a sign, putting it in there, calling him a dick. He gets annoyed, uh, runs down there, spawns a load of people in, and then at the end you can take him on legitimately but there is another strategy where you can use a certain shotgun which I'll show you now uh, and actually kill him while he's totally passive neutral and still hopefully get his uh, stuff so what I need for this is the I think it's the wombat shotgun there it is um, always keep this on this character just in case you want to uh, do some sneaky farms of Nell let's unequip everything else to make it uh, very very easy for this um, and basically this is a, like a little glitch so we're going to fire this at Nell and as we fire it we're going to open our inventory about now and then drop it and then pick it back up and that should do some explosive damage let's have a look um, it does take a little while but yeah there you go see you can see his health come straight off do you know what let's let's kill him screw it let's kill him properly in the next couple of runs but uh, yeah you just keep firing and dropping and firing and dropping and eventually Nell will die yep there we go I missed that one up there you go fire drop oh this is too much coordination for me and there you go he dies that easily I don't know where his body went oh it's whoa is that him over there it certainly is holy hell he flew we'll go and see him in a minute but uh, no invader um, I hope I've got that right, actually. I'm sure it's the Invader. It should be. Um, if not, it is a legendary sniper rifle. I'm 99% I'm sure it's the Invader, but my brain fails sometimes. Um, wow, Nell, you flew. Absolutely flew. Uh, so yeah, there you go guys, that is what we're going to be farming today. So uh, I'm going to do probably two runs of the normal strategy, which does take quite a while. Uh, we've got Lorbring Anisha with us though, with her Tombstone and Showdown. Um, buff so uh, it shouldn't take too long to uh, to actually hurt her. Let's put the look cannon there. I don't like using the look cannon. Uh, I like further using the maggies and we're going to have the flare. Where is my flare? Um, ah, where is it? Have we gone past it? I have not got a flare. Okay, well let's use the striker. I'm looking straight at it, aren't I? Yeah, there you go. We'll use that. Um, now the only trouble with this strategy is you do have to go back and get a car every single time, which is annoying, but it's still quicker than uh, having to run there. So, let's go for that, and hopefully we can get one first time. If we can get one first time legitimately, uh, then we'll use the uh, the cheat strategy and uh, hopefully get another one maybe, or just do a couple of runs of it like that, but I like to show the, uh, the little, egg, well, I'll call it a glitch, it is a glitch, it's more of an exploit really, it's not technically cheating well, some might say it's cheating using strategies like that but hey they can patch it easily i'm sure so uh, and they haven't so we're using it nothing wrong with a bit of uh, exploiting of the game to make things easier on us uh, so um what am i doing i don't want to do that strategy i want to come down here and do it properly and uh, the good thing about uh, you know i'm not just encouraging people to do the sneaky strat uh, there is good <sighs> Whoa. 
<laughs> How many times have I ever really done that and panicked like that? It's every single time. Okay, um, let's try and get up there without dying, uh, or at least scaring myself. Uh, so yeah, uh, there is benefits, what I was trying to say, of doing it legitimately, uh, because there are two big red dog chests up here, um, one on each side, so yeah, you can get yourself uh, some good loot from them. I knew that was going to happen. I need to uh, refresh my parkour climbing skills. Um, so yeah, there are legitimate um, perks to doing it like this. Um, okay, this might be a failure. Have I not done the mission? Or am I in the wrong part? I'm in the wrong part. What? An <laughs> <laughs> I thought, what the hell is going on here? I'm, sh I'm sure it was up there, but no, I, I'm just uh, over, overthinking it, over climbing things. So uh, yeah, that would have been a massive fail. I actually thought then, surely I've spawned in the uh, the mission for now before actually coming here and doing it. That would have been one of the moments where I would have uh, had a sneaky delete of this file, gone and done the mission, and then acted like nothing had ever happened. But hey, these things happen, especially when you've got so many characters, so many playthroughs on the go. I like to try and diversify things a little bit sometimes. That's why I've been using all different characters in these community loot, um, complete loot overhaul videos. Because I really could just sit with Nisha all day, but uh, you've got to switch things up now and again. Right, okay, we've got the signs. Let's go and call him a dick. Uh, da -da -da -da, there's one. Oh, and there's two. Right, where's my Maggie's? Let's clear a few of these guys out. Don't call me a jerk. How dare you call me a jerk? Right, let's just clear all these guys out because they will follow us. So, uh. That's better. Let's just get them all while we've got a bit of tombstone. Right, we need to get Showdown back. We'll just use the Maggies actually, and then we'll use the uh, the Striker for now. The Maggies are doing pretty good damage anyway. This is so OP. So OP. But who cares, it saves us time. We'll start to get some Ultimate Badasses out in a minute anyway. Come on. Let's get in the air so we can hit everyone easy enough. Ah. Uh, I thought I'd lost Tombstone then. I might have actually. Come on then now. Where are these guys? I thought you had some hard mates. These guys are easy. Ah, there we go. Um. Uh oh. I might go down yet. Yes, I'm down. Right, boy, it doesn't matter. Oh, soon got back up again. Don't know what quite happened there, but down he goes. Is he turning? Where is he? There you are. Right, let's use that guy to get some tombstone. Maybe. Come on then now. Boom, down he goes. Have we got a legendary? We have not. Damn you, Nell. Damn you, damn you, damn you, Nell. Right. Wow, that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Technically, that is two runs of him, though, and a lot of it was uh, explaining the the Wombat shotgun strategy. So let's speed this up, because uh, I don't like making these episodes too long. We'll definitely go for one more run doing that strategy, though. And then uh, we'll try the other one. Right, so turn around. That was the longest turnaround ever. Stop it. Right. And now I've got off my blooming vehicle. Okay, this isn't what I'd call speeding things up, so come on, hurry the hell up. Right. So, yeah, one more normal run, and then we'll just do some uh, couple of real fast um, one-back kills, glitch kills. We are getting ourselves that legendary sniper rifle today, though. No matter what, so do not worry. That will definitely be on the cards. And then uh, next episode should be the last one. Uh, and that's the Tubby Stalkers um, 
the spawn rate has been increased dramatically from something stupid like 0.1% to 10%. So I think we're going to take this it to research and development. And, uh, oh god, I hate climbing this. Um, take it to research and development and maybe run around, um, yeah, maybe run around there and try and find some tubby stalkers. Uh, well, I don't want to go up a level, do I? We'll learn that from last time. I want to be on this level right here so I don't confuse myself. Oh god, I'm getting stuck. Right, there we go. <coughs> Load of rubbish from there. Let's get back in the stingray then. These guys are all going to die very soon, but we'll leave them for now. Hit a jump pad. Let's hit this jump pad. No, that one doesn't take us high enough. Is it that one? This is the one I want. Too many jump pads. Can't remember which one is the one. Right. Let's get some. Oh god, I nearly went for the. I nearly went for that one, man. Um, stop getting ahead of yourself. Right. Open the chest. Grab the last sign. No decent weapons in there. And float down to call him a dick. There we go. Not bothered, mate. Not bothered at all. Do something about it. Let's get that guy down. In fact, yeah, we'll just stay here while all these guys are down, because if not, they're just annoying me. Where's this guy? I can see, there you go, you just got to fire with Tombstone. Fire it and hope that you can see purple. If you can see purple, you know Tombstone is hitting in. Aimbot and Tombstone, super overpower. There we go then. These Maggies are going pretty well though. Love myself some Maggie action. Right, we've lost Tombstone again, but we'll soon get it back with this guy. Anyone else? Just firing for the hell of it now. There you go, there's a the guy down there. Right, we've got the ultimate badasses out. What are you? You're just a normal guy, so we'll... We'll go like that with you. Ah, die! Gotta get these guys down. Gotta get these guys down. So close, there we go. Clicking like hell right now. And hopefully, Nell spawns in after this one. No. We've got more El Elpisians. There we go. Come on then. Uh, I'm not going to let him fire himself up. Yeah, he doesn't. That was probably a waste. Go away. Let's get those headshots. Maggie's, come on. He's going to put us down. No. I don't want him to be too close to the edge, though. Come at me. Let's knock you that way. There you go. Boom. Okay, a lot came out then, it looked like, but nothing seems to have dropped well. So, uh, no sniper rifle? No. No sniper rifle. Ah, oh, that's probably where it all was. Okay, right. There you go, there's the two normal runs, one glitchy run. Let's continue with some more uh, glitch abuse to make this quicker. Wow, we're 15 minutes nearly into this episode, well, 14. We need to get an invader drop very quickly. Very quickly. So, let's do a setup first. I want the wombat, and that is it. Wombat, where are you? That's a wallop. There you go. And then we'll take these out. And then that makes it easier. The reason I switch it out to nothing is obviously when you fire it and then pick it up. Um, if you've got anything else, any other weapons in your inventory, it'll just auto switch to them. So then you've got to switch back to the one bat and do it again. It's just one extra process that makes it a lot harder, really. Well, depends what your coordination is like. Mine's not amazing, so the easier I can make it, the better, really. Some people could probably do it in smooth sequence, but uh, I probably could if I wasn't recording, um, do it better because 
as you've noticed when I'm talking, <laughs> it's hard to talk, think of things to talk about and play at the same time and get things perfect. Again, there's a lot of people out there that can do it. I'm not one of them. Right, so, fire, inventory open, drop, pick up and catch. Fire, inventory open, drop, pick up, catch. If this all goes well, no, that's not a very good one. Um, I've lost my keys, there we go. That doesn't seem to be, uh, there we go. So yeah, if you can get like, oh god. If you can get like, a good few shots on at once there is a like a 10 second time delay on the actual explosions going off so if you can uh, stop it so if you can just keep going like this you'll see that it'll just go bang 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 yeah like that so uh, there'll be a bit of time lag so just keep going until he's dead really i reckon one or two more and we should have him come on oh so close is the one more yes there is but still no sniper. Damn you, Nell. Okay, I'm going to stop it right here because there was a slight problem. This video went on for another 10, 15 minutes, another six, seven runs of Nell and absolutely nothing. So I thought, fair enough, bad RNG. Well, then I went ahead and did a total of 50 runs by myself and not got a single thing at all. It's also worth mentioning, I think in this video I've said a couple of times that we're farming for the invader. Please ignore my newbiness. Obviously, the invader has already been got. Uh, I meant the pitchfork. I'm an idiot sometimes, so we are actually farming for the pitchfork. Uh, but back on track, so I did 50 runs, nothing at all. I thought this is real bad RNG, possibly, because the school masher should have dropped by now, even if the pitchfork doesn't. So I uh, contacted Raven Jim on YouTube. He didn't see it originally. Uh, so I went and did another 50 runs, so that's 100 runs total, absolutely nothing at all. So I knew there was definitely something wrong right there. Again, it is technically possible for that to happen, but it's it's very, very unlikely. So uh, again, I messaged Raven Jim, luckily he saw it the second time, and uh, indeed there was a problem uh, with something in the file. So he very kindly and quickly fixed that at a stupid o'clock in the morning, for me and I went ahead and uh, well I'll show you a couple of drops so I actually managed to get the first legendary drop after two runs uh, I also wanted to show you one full run right now this is how you should do it obviously with me not live recording and talking I actually have more time to think and I actually got a bit better of a system going right now so yeah this is how uh, it should work nice and smooth just basically shoot open your inventory drop the weapon pick it back up all very quickly and then just sit back and wait for the results to happen so like I said two runs finally the school masher dropped so I knew it was pretty much fixed which is really really good news uh, second drop was another school masher that took another four or five runs after that and uh, yeah then finally we managed to get the pitchfork uh, in about 11 runs I think it took me right now so uh, yeah here is the uh, pitchfork drop coming up any second there you go uh, so yeah there you go guys like you can see completely fixed so uh, unfortunately the first 15 minutes uh, of this video we were farming pointlessly for uh, glitched bugged drops uh, but like I said, I thought I'd include that and just actually explain what happened. And uh, yeah, this is just the uh, the actual good thing about these community patches being made. This would have taken Gearbox or, or 2K months to fix. All I had to do was contact uh, the modder and he fixed it within minutes, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So really does show that not only does the modding community care and actually uh, improve the games so much quicker than the developers, but it also shows that uh, actually feedback to the modders is a good thing as well because he might not have realised uh, what had gone wrong. I have managed to pick up on it because I was doing a video on it and boom, done. Uh, situation fixed very quickly. So uh, yeah, like I said, thank you to Raven Jim for his quick fixes and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this and uh, enjoy getting an extra bit of legendary loot from Nell from now on. So thank you for watching, really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.